Thank you for remembering her. Thank you, Peter. And, and okay, um, Michelle. Yes. Michelle? Yeah. Okay. You want you understand now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to the uh, training session on Friday. Uh, we have a small group today. I guess it's because of the the Memorial Weekend, but nevertheless, it's uh, going to be a very interesting topic. Uh, uh, Michelle is going to talk about uh, the business plan as well as the track uh, daily tracking forms and. <laughs> the favorite subject from uh, my ferry. You know, yes. we pay a lot of money uh, for my ferry, uh, and and, uh, and and now we get it for, for, uh, for free from uh, Michelle. So <laughs> it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, quite a treat. So uh, Michelle, so why don't you take it take it over and? Uh... Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Sure. Okay. So <clears throat> thank you all for coming. Um, there's quite a few agents here. Uh, that have used the tracking system. We're getting uh, questions from um, older agents in the business and newer, like where are we getting our business from? Uh, we'll go into that in a little bit, but just to let you know, mikeferry.com has a wealth of information and scripts. So I'm gonna show you some of them, but the main thing is your daily tracking form, if you start now, it's going to be feeding your business plan so you know what you're doing to get business. So we'll briefly go over this, and then we're going to go over the 2022 business plan. Or if you've already done one, there's a mid-year business plan. So uh, there's a lot of us that are very familiar with this form. I'm going to make copies and set them around the office. They're wonderful to use. So if you see here, they've lined it out. <clears throat> And this is a daily form, so you can make a file or a notebook because you need to be able to create stats on yourself so you know how many contacts it took for you to get to contract and to closing. So if you start here, you see that it's asking you, you can put like, a, you know, I call them chicken marks, you know, just a mark here. So any of these that you have made contact with your centers of influence, are one of the most powerful ones, expires. Um, I know that um, people are saying there's, there's, you know, there hasn't been a lot, but there's a little bit of a shift. So maybe there'll be more now. Some people have, um, are paying monthly on an expired service. You could also, if you don't want to do that, if you're new in the business and you just want to try it out um, and use the expired script, which I have a copy of, you can go to the MLS. It's not, of course, it's not going to have the owner's number, but you could look at the houses that have expired in our area. Um, drop a business card off at the door, you know, drop a letter off. You can do things like that for expireds if you don't have the phone number. Uh, for sale by owners. If you look on, there's a website called forsellbyowner.com. Yes, some of them are agents on there, just posting on that site to get more traction, but there's also some owners and there is a script for that. Uh, there's a script for all of this actually. Uh, past clients, keep in touch with your past clients. Uh, they trusted you, you helped them close or a uh, property. So make sure you're keeping in touch. Um, even if you call them once a quarter or send them something in the mail or email just listed, just sold. It's a great way um, here for newer agents. If you're, um, if you want to prospect around any of the brokerages uh, listings, you can door knock that area and say, my company has a listing on one, two, three main, you know, three bedrooms, two baths and, and start telling the neighbors about the exciting listing that's there, there and ask them who they know that would want to move in the area. And by the way, when do you plan on selling? So you can go around just listed, just sold, uh, door knock that area. You can do that twice um, with our listings. If you're doing floor time, you may be getting sign calls or ad calls, okay? So down here, this form is laid out so nice because you're just putting a mark in each box of what you do. So this is the lead box. So any lead that you've obtained through these uh, types of calls, make a mark here. And then down here, it's asking you, how many hours did you work 
across and then, but within your working hours, you're also going to need to schedule prospecting time. That could be door knocking on the phone, things of that nature. How many contacts you made? Not um, normally here, it, it's going to take, you may get six to eight contacts an hour. Um, I know that we have some very um, good prospectors here. And I'm gonna say, Christine Finn, I've watched you for years prospect. And I know you that you uh, get business that way. And we also have Cindy Fan. She has pulled business from prospecting. So um, it does work folks. And then leads generated, you're gonna put that uh, number here and it, you're just gonna go down the list, okay? So this form is very helpful. It kind of is your map for your work day and it will keep you going and keep you strong. And it's gonna show you exactly, especially up here, how many hours are you actually working a day? Um, but within that, how many hours are you prospecting? So a newer agent that, or even um, other agents, if you don't have listings, probably it's gonna be heavier in hours on the prospecting, but even if you have uh, open files or listing going, make sure you're prospecting so that uh, you know you can get more closings. So that's the name of the game. So this form will help you. Um, it once you have a few months of this, it'll be easier on your business plan. But let me go into the business plan for 2022. So most trainers are going to say that in order to accomplish tasks, you need to really have a good picture of it and write things down, which I think is, is very true. Um, this isn't a business where we can wing it because we really need to be making contact to get business, whether that's through your sphere of influence, on the phones, at the doors. So what is your transaction goal? How many do you wish to close in 2022? Uh, what's nice is we're just starting in June. So this is a good place to start because you'll have a half year um, of your business plan. So if you've never done this, this is a good one to start with. So how many goals do you want for the remaining half of the year? What's your income goal? What do you need to make? So these we recommend you write at the beginning of the year. So what, when 2023 comes up, we'll be sending these to you. So your business plan, as they say here, is divided into the five parts. You're gonna recap your previous year's production. If, if you're a new agent, obviously you're not gonna have this. What are your specific production goals for the year? And where that tracking sheet comes into, because you need to keep stats on yourself, is how many numbers, how many um, people are you gonna to need to be talking to to achieve your goals? that you've set for yourself? What's your daily schedule gonna be? What kind of challenges do you have? Maybe you need to pick children up from school. Um, maybe you're caring for a parent. So you're gonna go through a challenge and solution page, okay? So this recap here is your 2021 recap. So you would put in the total income you made your expenses, because in real estate, we always have expenses. How many closed deals you did for uh, last year? How many listing appointments? That's where these tracking sheets, once you have a few months of them, your statistics on yourself are gonna be a lot better because you'll know how many numbers it takes to get a listing. Total listings taken, sold. You're gonna even buyer sales. How many buyer sales, your average sales price and your average commission check, your average hours work. So you're going to recap all of 2021. That's why you keep your tracking sheets so you know what you were doing during that time. Now we're coming to this year and the, the next half of 2022. It's a good time to build this. So your production goals, how much do you want to make from June to December? Th things are still happening out there. And if we're contacting enough people we can grab a good share of this market as Coldwell Banker George Realty with all of us out there. Um, I see great things and I know we can do it. So how much is your income goal for the next six months? How many closed deals do you want? 
um, how many listing appointments are you going to go on and how many listings are you going to take? We all know when we go on a listing appointment, we're not going to bat at 100%. And that's okay because when you're in front of a seller and you're, you're presenting at a listing appointment, we, we just get better and better at it, okay? So never um, feel like you sh you know that you're going to bat at 100 or feel bad that you're not because nobody is going to do that. Just get out there and do your best at those appointments if you need help or you need to run uh, some scripts and practice before you go, we're here for that as well. So your listing taking goal, how many do you plan on taking in the next six months of the year? Listing sold, how many of those are you gonna sell? Your buyer sells. And really important, how many hours per week are you committed to working in real estate? Not another job, but in real estate. How many hours are you committed to working? Um, we are open. We love to have people here. So we're open here at the office and, and Arcadia is open. And it, it's a great time uh, to come in and get some support from your peers. Um, how many days are you going to work a week? Are you going to work five days a week, six days a week? So make sure you're filling all this in. What is your prospecting goal and your contact goal? How many hours are you going to prospect a day? So here you need to be um, probably have some data on uh, your past performance, but if you're new, you may not may not have that. Listing appointments to listing taken. Um, how is your average? Are you 50-50 when you go on a listing appointment? So make sure that you're noting down how many appointments, uh, listing appointments it's taking for you to get an appointment. Maybe you're one out of three, maybe you're one out of five. Either scenario is great. You're out there, you're talking to people, you're raising um, your chance of taking that listing. Uh, listing sold, uh, how many are you gonna sell? Buyer sales listing. What is it gonna require for you to reach your dollar goal uh, for the next uh, remaining half of this year? Okay, and this is this is a good exercise here. Um, the daily schedule. If any of you went to the training um, with the ferry organization, they're scheduling everything in here. This will be your gym time, your lunch time, uh, time with children. So this this goes up to uh, let's see, yeah, five p.m. So if you start it out your day at the gym from seven to nine, put that in. So make sure you're covering what you're doing during the day and make sure that some of this time here always says prospecting, whether it's your sphere of influence, anything like that. We need to make time during our day for prospecting because if we don't, we don't do it. Um, you know, by human nature, there's a lot of, uh, we avoid things. And if you need help, we're gonna be with you to help you through that, okay? Because if you're new to the business and you need, a group to sit with you while you're calling and support you. We'll do that as well. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, how are you? So challenges and solutions. What's your challenge? Um, what kind of challenges are you having? Uh, these could be business, personal, and, and, and try to work out some solutions for them. Sometimes that's easier said than done, but be thinking about what's challenging you, um, what's making it difficult for you to prospect three hours a day or two hours a day, whatever you set. Um, I know that um, when we were trained uh, with Mike Ferry, it's not just the hours a day, it's the number of contacts. So you wanna be prospecting a number of contacts. So if you choose to prospect to 20 contacts a day, that may take you two hours or it could take you three hours. So make sure that you're scheduling for that any challenges and, and you're gonna be writing here and, and come up with some solutions that you can work with. And it continues on to this page here. So that's a good way to start to get going for this next half of the year. It's gonna be very important um, with the interest rates changing, but we still have a lot of things that we can do out there. And I'm gonna show you, um, there's a monthly action plan here that I thought was pretty good. I didn't remember this from before, but this is about setting your monthly goals here. 
so if it's easier for you to break this down into a monthly goal for June, July, you know, make a sheet for each one. And it's going to go through the same thing here. What you must do to achieve your goals, how many listings you're going to take, your daily, you know, your how many days a week are you working? How many days per month? Things that you need to do to achieve these goals, write those down, give, your, give yourself some ideas, think about it, um, brainstorm with other agents, create an, an affirmation. If any of you like affirmations, I think they're good because uh, we want to be saying uh, positive things in our head because, um, you know, sometimes it can be challenging when we're talking to a lot of people, you may feel like you're getting rejected a lot. But as they say, you know, those no's get you to your yes. And so it's a thank you very much because now you're moving towards your yes. That's why it's important to keep track of your numbers so you know how many no's it takes to get your yes. And those no's are an important step to get you where you need to go to get that contract and get that check. So I'm gonna close out on this. If anybody has any questions, speak up. And I'm going to show you that there's a lot of scripts here. Hang on. Anybody can unmute and ask questions or talk about this. This is a more um, collaborative meeting for all of us. So not just with me talking, but if you have some suggestions, I know in our midst in this meeting, we have got some heavy prospectors that have done very well with the system. So here I just printed off 47 pages of scripts. I mean, there is a script, let's see, center of uh, your influence. Hey, good morning, wanted to take a moment again and remind you that I'm still in the business, mom. If you know anybody who is thinking of buying or selling real estate, any of your friends looking to move out of the state, let them, uh, give me a call and give me their name. I'll be happy to call them. So you can call your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, qualifying a buyer uh, script for their motivation. So I'm just gonna quickly scroll through these because if you're new, um, these are great scripts to start with. And even as an older agent, if you start incorporating these into your, your lingo, it very easily comes out of your mouth. I noticed that <laughs> some of the things I say when I'm talking to people, are directly from Mike Ferry scripts because of, of the practice. Center of influence. Hi, this is Michelle Olson. This is a business call. Do you have a moment? So you go through the scripts and you can literally have this sitting right in front of you. If anybody doesn't know how to get to Mike Ferry, uh, let me know. I have all of these at my desk, okay? So there is a script. There's an expired script over the phone. Um, Years ago, uh, I partnered up with somebody. We actually went to the expireds <coughs> at their door, left a letter if they didn't answer, and we left three letters. And then um, by the third letter, uh, we would either get a call back or, or, or not. You know, if we couldn't reach them at the door, we always left a letter or something with our business cards. So you can do it that way as well. There's a for sale by owner script here. So I just wanna show you, this is just ideas. There's a lot of scripts. There's a lot of things that we can practice. And I know some of the agents that did the Mike Ferry um, practicing would like to start that back up again. So we do support that so that we all know what to say uh, when we are talking to clients. So it would take about 20 minutes and we'll roll through some uh, listing scripts uh, buyer qualification scripts. So if you're interested in that, we'll be in the big training room Monday through Thursday at 930. We will chant the scripts together. We'll pump each other up and then we can go about our day prospecting and looking for people who want to buy or sell real estate. So if you need that kind of support, please join us and it's going to be a fun group of people. We're here to help each other. And if you're from Arcadia and you want us to Zoom it, we're, we're happy to Zoom it as well so you can participate in, in reading the scripts. The more you read these and internalize them, they will come out of your mouth. Um, here's a just listed script. You can use this to call. You can incorporate some of this when you're knocking on doors. 
So since this is more of an interactive meeting, does anybody um, have any comments or questions? I know, Cindy, you've been at the Mike Ferry process for a long time. Do you have any comments? You can unmute yourself. Anybody? Okay, so if there's people that are interested in practicing the scripts, uh, please put your name in the chat box. Um, we'll be uh, kicking that off after the 1st of June. Um, just so this gets you familiar with what to say in situations. It also has a one minute listing presentation script. It has um, a longer listing script. So I know when we're, we're uh, rusty or new, sometimes when we have contracts in front of us, we want to know uh, what we, you know, what we should be saying to the client. So there's scripts for that too. Uh, we're trying to cover all that and support you all as much as possible. Today at 1130, we'll have a live group here. I am the buyer. They're going to be explaining the buyer's contract to me that we wrote last week. And to get me to sign the contract, they're going to go over the contract with me. So we're going to be practicing those things. So when you're in front of a live client, your confidence is built. It's good for all agents, not just brand new agents, but agents that have been in the business. We need to remember, um, you know, what to say, how much to explain in a contract. Um, for me, since I have come from an accounting background, when I first started, it was nutty. I was over explaining. So, you know, I've learned over the years to taper that down. So we want to go through and, you know, learn how to explain contracts to people. And we'll practice all of that. That will not be filmed on Zoom so you can feel comfortable. I mean, on YouTube but we will zoom it to the other office if you want to join in and on the practicing. Here's the listing presentation script so you can feel very confident when you go in. So are there any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you would like to see trained? Uh, Michelle. Yes. Can you, can you send us those uh, scripts as well as the, the business plans? The things that yes. you went over today is a uh, very good information for the agents, you know, so that they can yes. have it uh, when um, to look at it uh, at their spare time. Yeah, Thank I'll you. make a package um, and I'll put them in Cobalt Banker folders. So we will have packages of all these scripts for you. We'll yeah. have the business plan because um, that it's going to be very critical for these next six months. We need to have a plan of action as. As things have shifted a little, we really need to know what numbers we're hitting. So I will make a package and you can come to my desk and pick them up or they'll be also laying at the front desk. So you pick up a folder, it will have all these scripts in it. And then if you want to practice with um, us uh, at 9.30, it'll take 20 minutes. Come into the training room. We'll take the, um, the listing presentation the buyer qualification scripts, we'll run through them. It's literally just reading them so that you can get these internalized. Uh, it will help you a lot and you will notice you're using this language um, when you're out on the field. So today, uh, or excuse me, next uh, Friday, um, we have Contempo escrow coming in. We do have more agents now in the brokerage that are selling uh, mobile homes. And those are, you know, they're not real property. So there's certain things that are done through escrow. So we are gonna go over next Friday, uh, the life of a, a selling a mobile home through escrow. That's, that is gonna be explained to you. So we're trying to cover everything that agents are doing. So I'm really excited about that meeting next week. It's gonna be very informative for all of us, even if we have not thought of selling mobile homes or have not. This is gonna give you a lot of information on, on the process of getting that done. Cause it's a, it's a lot different than selling uh, real property. Any other questions? I, I just wanna say that it really helps practicing. I started practicing with Tatiana. Yes. And you know, you find out really where you need. She's more experienced than I am. I'm new in the field. Right. It really, it really is helping. So I'm looking forward to coming here every day. Oh, great. 
Oh, we're so excited. So Irma's saying that she's been practicing with uh, Tatiana, another agent here, and that that practice has been helping her. It gives her more confidence. So that's what it's all about. Um, we can you know, go through these together and encourage each other and internalize these scripts because you're gonna be speaking them. It'll become part of your speech when you're out there. And then you won't have to feel nervous about what to say. Um, any other questions from anybody or comments? All, all I can say also is going over this is really helpful. And thank you for your time. You make oh, it really yeah. simple. Yeah. Um, and if you if if anybody needs help with their business plan, um, you know, broker, myself, we can help you go over it. If you need your numbers from last year, let us know. We're happy to provide those for you. So um, let's make it a strong, you know, second half of the year. I think that actually we're some of the best trained agents uh, out here. So I know that we can have a strong uh, next half of the year. So with that, I'll leave it for comments or, or any questions. And if not, we'll close the meeting. Yeah, Michelle, it's really uh, very valuable information. As I said, that uh, we pay, uh, you know, when you have to go to the My Ferries uh, uh, se sessions and, and uh, learn all this, we have to pay a good amount of money for yeah. that. But now we can get it for free. Uh, and also we can have a chance to, to work uh, with each other. You know, you'll have a synergistic, uh, the, um, uh, you know, effect on, on uh, having to work together among the agents. And it's a very good idea. It's invaluable. Yeah. So I would really strongly recommend uh, people to participate, you know? And if there's anybody that um, shows up Monday through Friday at 9.30, even if it's me and two other agents or me and one other agents, the practice will continue. Um, and if Arcadia would like to be Zoomed in, we will Zoom you in because we can practice together. You can stand up, read your scripts with us and we can all get better together. Um, Yes, Christine, I will make sure that copies are sent over to the Arcadia office in folders so that you can pick up those from, uh, I guess I'll give them to Doug. And then that way, when we're practicing script, you just pull from that, that package and uh, we can all get better together. And I will make sure it's Zoomed every morning. So and, I'm really excited for the, all we can do. And I thank and, you all. And, and everybody will have electronic copies of the materials that we talk about today. Right, uh, Michelle? Yeah, I'm gonna make, make sure to it, uh, make it in a folder and then email to everybody. Yeah, I'll do I'll do both ways because when we're practicing, you're gonna want to have a hard copy because normally practicing we're gonna be standing up. And the other thing is um, we're gonna rotate who's leading the chance. So it's really gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, we'll rotate somebody will come to the front of the class and, and be leading that chant that day. So we'll just keep rotating. It'll, it'll be good for all of us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so let me look at the chat box. Oh yeah, Christine's saying that, um, Christine's had a lot of experience with Mike Ferry and she's saying that the coach um, wanted her to memorize the scripts. Yeah. and. Um, Christine was uh, coached by the Mike Berry organization and is a wonderful cold caller on the phone. I've listened to her. She's very good. So yeah, once we keep practicing every day, those scripts will be internalized. You'll commit it to memory and it will help you a lot. Thank you for sharing, Christine. Uh, I also want to mention that there's going to be a Tom Berry conference in July. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're aware of that. Oh, okay. So, um, um, where, where is it? Oh, Vegas. I guess. Oh, okay. So Irma's saying that there's a Tom Ferry conference, uh, Mike Ferry's son in July in, um, Vegas. Yes. Okay. Cause their headquarters are in Vegas. So there's a lot of things that go on with the Mike Ferry organization. Um, they're very, um, Mike Ferry, I think is very hard hitting about prospecting. So, um, Tom Ferry is a little, is he different, different, a little I bit heard, different. He's on, yeah, he is. Yeah. But there's a lot of resources. Uh, the other thing is if you YouTube and listen to some of Mike Ferry's, um, interviews, which I was doing this week, 
um, is really um, helpful because it kind of pumps you up. Uh, there is a movie, if any of you ever get a chance, that I recommend. It's called Door to Door. It is one of the best sales um, movies I have ever seen. It's a true story. Um, it's called Door to Door. If you get a chance, YouTube it and watch it. It is inspiring. Against all odds, this man knocks his way to the top of the organization. So um, I recommend that we all watch movies like that. So thank you all. I don't want to keep talking. Uh, we'll be back at 1130. And we're going to practice uh, how you present the offer to the buyer to sign. Thank, thank you. you, Michelle. I'll be picking up um, next week my packet of the scripts, if that's okay. I'm still working. I'll be off. Um, from the school district, and then I'll be heading into the office every day. Okay, so we'll be here, um, whether it's uh, 15 of us or two of us, it, it okay. is that we will be here. We won't be here doing this on Friday because we have 10 a.m. training, okay? So I'm thank you so a, much. Thank you all. You'll have packages. Thank I'm you. Close the meeting, and yeah. um, I look forward to Everybody. seeing you all. Okay, bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Have bye. a nice memorial weekend. <laughs> Yeah, happy weekend, everybody. Thank you. Same Thank to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.